The EPAC has another class of sensors which are light sensors and which help it to move or avoid light. The light sensors work very much like the distance sensors so we can in fact just copy and paste the code to enable them real quick and let's call them LS instead of DS and now we append the LS device to the LS list and they are also called LS0 to LS7 and we will now enable them and likewise we will retrieve them and in this case we for light sensor in LS we get the values and then print them. So what's now going to happen is you see the light sensors and you see a couple of these values are zero and some others are very high already. We can first visualize where they actually are by going into optional rendering and show them. So you see they are co-located with the distance sensors and we can also show you the light source in optional rendering. So you see where the light source is. Now what you can do is you can actually turn the lights in the WeBots environment on and off. And this is also something you would do in the real world because the light sensors might have different sensitivity. And in this case, they are simply flooded with light. So let's see what happens when we turn them all off. And I recommend you to do that also in practice. Now there's one more light that you see here, which doesn't have an on-off switch, but you can change the luminosity and so we set that to zero. So now the world is dark and you can see the values are changing. I let you experiment with how the light sensor actually works in practice in uh, a WeWatch quiz, which you can start right now.